Welcome to Daytona Beach, Florida, home to Hankster's Hot Rods, Muscle Car, and Collector Car Showroom. We own all of our vehicles in our inventory. We are not a consignment dealer. If you're watching today's presentation on YouTube, please be sure to check out our website, hanksters.com. It's where you can find all of our most current inventory. Our YouTube videos, we leave up at all times between our two stores and shooting three to four to five per week, times 52 weeks in a year, times as many years we've been doing this. You can do the math. There's a lot of videos on our channel. However, if you visit our website, you will see uh, the inventory that is available because once it is sold and funded in full, it comes down off of our website and that tells you that the vehicle is no longer available. Also check us out on Instagram and Facebook. There will be vehicles such as the one we're about to present to you on there prior to us doing our full marketing presentation. So if there's a specific year, make and model you're interested in, you might be able to get a jump on your buying competition. We sell the majority of our vehicles uh, sight unseen and we sell a lot of them before they ever even hit our website. Uh, many people visit our showroom, uh, people see cars in the background of these video and photo shoots and see them on Facebook and Instagram and they, they buy them before they even make the website so check it out. Also there's a cool link there to our gift shop where we ship Hankster's apparel, hats and t-shirts and banners and flags and all kinds of cool merchandise all over the country uh, so check that out as well. Mustang's always been a popular seller for us. This one happens to be a 1965 with a 289, so let's check it out. Um, as you can see, you are looking at a 289 motor. There is no uh, power steering. Uh, there is no power brakes. It's just a uh, basic uh, run-of-the-mill 1965 Ford Mustang. So let's close the hood and let's check out uh, what the rest of the car looks like. It is white in color. Uh, the paint on the car is pretty nice. We'll look at it throughout the uh, presentation, but the paint on the top of your fenders here, both driver and passenger, and on the hood and the cowl area, all uh, in good shape. So when I'm looking at paint, I'm looking at, well, are there any fish eyes? Are there any cracks, blisters, fades? And there's not on this car. Uh, the pony in the center, your little Mustang there in the center of the grill is uh, in, in good condition. Uh, same thing with the chrome. Uh, encompassing the grill area, looks to be in good shape. Front bumper looks to be newer. Uh, there's no rusting around the uh, bolt, the, the bumper bolts. There's no uh, flaking or peeling of the chrome. Take a look around the uh, driver's side of the car. The uh, 289 designation there on the front fender is in real nice condition. Uh, you do have a Mustang logo and a Mustang uh, lettering there on the uh, driver's side front fender as well. Five-star Kragers with raised white letter BFG tires. The uh, Kragers look to be in good shape. Um, we will have still photos of those up close on our website. Let's take a look at the front window glass. Uh, front windshield looks to be in pretty good shape. There are a couple of dings there. Uh, they aren't really chips. They're just, you know, maybe we're like, a, well, I guess they are chips. They're very small. They're not cracked or anything. They're just, you know, we're, Debris might have came up off the road and hit the windshield. Uh, we'll get a, a visual of the windshield looking out when we're on the test drive. The uh, chrome mirror on the pa uh, driver's side door is in, in good shape. The chrome's, uh, you know, again, it's, it's not brand new, but it, it doesn't need to be replaced or anything. The uh, chrome finish is pretty good. Same thing with the uh, chrome around the, your vent window, around your drip rail moldings. Uh, Around the uh, quarter window and the driver's window, everything looks in pretty good shape. You know, it's driver quality. It's not uh, brand new chrome, but uh, it's not pitted. It's not rusted. It's not flaking off. Uh, the door fitment is in uh, good condition here on the driver's side. Your uh, door gaps are uniform. Uh, your body lines are uniform, and they line up nicely. Everything lines up nice and flush to the lower rocker and to the uh, rear quarter. Uh, your <coughs> uh, rocker moldings are in, in great shape, both driver and passenger side. Take a look in the car. Uh, door panel, it's in pretty good shape. Uh, so you have a painted portion here encompassing the uh, vinyl uh, portion on the uh, inner door. Uh, armrest is in good shape. Let's see here. Okay, so we have a uh, what looks to be a newer headliner. Uh, center console car automatic, uh, vinyl seats in the rear, good shape, uh, not torn, not discolored, not worn out. 
Uh, carpeting underneath the floor mat is in good shape. Floor mats are just uh, run-of-the-mill basic, you know, floor mats, nothing special. Take out the uh, driver's side floor mat. You can see underneath the uh, driver's side floor mat, the, uh, it has that uh, rubber portion there uh, beneath your accelerator and your brake. And then, of course, the black carpeting uh, around that. And that, that's all in good shape. Uh, there is a uh, vinyl cover there on the steering wheel. Uh, your Mustang, uh, the, the, the correct factory wheel. Uh, your gauges and bezels there uh, behind the steering wheel look to be in good condition. We'll show you a little bit closer look uh, of the interior when we're on the test drive, but you know, the driver's side seat, check that out, looks good. It looks to be like a, a newer uh, interior. Um, when I say newer, you know, like not 30 years old, but you know, not a year old. Um, you know, it looks like a newer, newer uh, upholstery job on the interior here. The complete, you know, carpeting, headliner, and uh, seats. Uh, body lines. So let's shoot down the uh, rear quarter to the uh, driver door to the front fender. Uh, the body lines on the car are real nice. As I stated earlier, everything's lining up. <clears throat> See here where your rear quarter lines up with your door and lines up to your front fender and everything's nice and flush and it's a good looking car from the side. Uh, rear window glass is in pretty good condition. Uh, same thing with the uh, chrome molding encompassing the rear window glass. So got some 6x9s there in your hat rack. We'll see if those uh, speakers function when we're on the test drive. Deck lid looks pretty good. Uh, not only your fitment, but your gapping. Uh, you know, it's driver quality car, but it looks pretty decent. A little bit lower here on the uh, driver's side than it is on the passenger side. Uh, rear bumper, uh, definitely uh, older than the front bumper. Front bumper looks to be brand new. Rear bumper looks like it's been on there maybe a few more years, but again, in, in good shape. Uh, you can see there's no rust on the uh, bumper itself and, uh, you know, pretty nice chrome. Not as nice as the front, but definitely uh, in, in good shape. You got uh, dual exhaust there coming out of the uh, lower valance next to your reverse lights on either side of your uh, license plate there. Well, where your license plate would be when you own the car. Take a look in the trunk. Uh, so that, I went through that. It's just some miscellaneous parts receipts, nothing really of significance, but it'll come with the car nonetheless. Um, trunk's in good shape. That's where your uh, gas tank is on your Mustang. Let's check out the passenger side. Uh, so looking at the rear quarter, it's nice and straight on the passenger side. You're Five-star Craigers look to be in, in good shape. Uh, there is a little nick there that was brush touched. And there's a little crack in the corner right there where the, uh, you know, the body flexes and the uh, paint cracks. But uh, those are really the only two uh, things I've seen so far. Again, check out how the uh, passenger side door lines up nicely with the front fender and with the rear quarter. Chrome on the door handles in real nice shape. Let's take a look at the inside the passenger side of the car. Uh, door panel, again, nice shape. Uh, your metal is painted here. This is, this is metal all the way around. Uh, the vinyl insert here that's on the center of the door and then your armrest in good shape. Uh, there's slight pitting here in your uh, door pulls and in your window cranks. They very well could be original. They certainly aren't new, but again, <clears throat> do they need to be replaced? No, they, they both function and they, uh, they don't look terrible they're just they do show age um, in the interior the passenger seat looks to be in fantastic condition you do have front seat belts uh, center console looks to be in pretty good shape again we'll take a closer look at that there's a lot of black in there so we'll take a, a closer look at the center console when we're on the test drive so stepping back from the car you can see the door fitments uh, nice 
check out your uh, gap here. You're nice and uniform uh, from the top of the fender to the bottom of the rocker. And then uh, same thing with your uh, rear door there to the, uh, the rear of the door to the rear quarter. Your Mustang emblem, your Mustang uh, wording, and your 289 logos are all in great shape. We do have uh, several still photos of those up on the website, so you can take a look at those a little closer. Hood fitment's pretty good on both sides, uh, driver and passenger. You can take a look at that in the still photos as well. You can see that the, uh, you know, the hood's not closer up here than it is back there. Lines are nice and uniform. It's just a real nice driver quality 1965 Ford Mustang. We just did a quick walk around of this vehicle. We will uh, take it around the building. We'll throw it up in the air and we'll check out the undercarriage. And then shortly after that, we'll do a little drive and show you guys how the car runs. But you can do all this when you visit our showroom in person in Daytona. If you're interested in this car or any other car we might have in our inventory, we'd be happy to pull it outside for you. We'd be happy to put it on the rack for you, let you check out the undercarriage let you drive it. You can get a feel for the uh, steering, for the brakes, for the uh, engine, transmission, get a uh, feel for how the car handles, performs. I do this every day, um, buy them, sell them, work on them. So I'm very familiar with them. However, you may not be. Maybe it's been since 1965 since you've driven one of these things. Maybe it's been since 1980. Maybe it's been none of the above. Maybe you have never driven a classic car. So uh, this is why I encourage you to come in person Look at the paint for yourself. Look at the undercarriage for yourself. Uh, feel the car. Let drive it yourself. This way, when the car shows up, there's absolutely no question or surprises because you were here and you uh, witnessed it and experienced it firsthand. However, at the end of the day, we are an internet-based business. We do the majority of our deals online, sight unseen, text message, email, uh, phone, over the phone, uh, exchange more pictures and videos, whatnot. Uh, so we have been doing this a long, long time. Hopefully our longevity in the business tells you something about our business model and the quality of product we put through our showroom month after month and year after year. Uh, but again, you are encouraged to come in person. Take it outside. We'll uh, throw it in the air and check out the undercarriage real fast, and then we're going to go do a short little test drive. Underneath our 1965 Ford Mustang, you're going to have drum brakes on all four corners. The Ford engine block blue oil pan looks to be dry. I can't really see the sides of the block because you got the headers in the way, but uh, no oil residue on the headers is a good thing. Frame rails on the car, both sides, driver and passenger, look to be in good shape. Let's take a look at the tranny pan. Small little guy, but uh, nonetheless it's dry. Another problematic area is your tail shaft seal. That is dry at this time. Uh, floor pans on the car look to be in fantastic condition. Now, you can tell that there has been floor pan work done to the car. Um, however, uh, you can tell it's real professional. The, uh, it's not sectioned in or patched in. It's, uh, the seams are all real nice, and they're all nice and solid throughout. So that's good stuff. Uh, Flowmaster mufflers, dual exhaust, uh, dual mufflers here on either side of the drive shaft. Um, drum brakes in the rear, like I stated earlier. Gas tank's in good shape. All your uh, area there where the trunk meets the back seat or the, your rear run pumpkin's gonna sit when the car's on the ground, that's in great condition. So here's a good thing uh, over here, metal to metal right there. See that? Inner, outer, no bondo up there. Nice representation of a 1965 driver quality Ford Mustang. In a couple minutes, we're going to put it on the ground and we'll take it out and we'll show you guys how the car runs and drives. Before we do that, I'd like to tell you two options. If you're a cash buyer, um, you can send us a certified bank check or you can do a bank wire transfer. Of course, if you're coming to see us in person in Daytona, you can certainly bring us cash too. That does still spend these days, believe it or not. If you're financing, the collective car lenders we work with will do up to an eight-year loan on this particular vehicle. 10% down is going to be your minimum payment requirement, and then the remaining balance over that five to ten year period, five to eight-year period, whatever you're approved for. They will go up to 10 years, but this vehicle doesn't qualify from a price standpoint. <clears throat> Once the vehicle is funded in full, whether you're a cash buyer or a uh, or you're financing, the car gets put through a pre-delivery inspection process. Once this process has been completed, the guys say it's ready to go. 
uh, we call a carrier for pickup. Generally, we can have a carrier here within 24 to 48 hours. Uh, if you're more in a more rural or remote area, it would take you know three, four, five days to get a carrier here. Uh, however, you know those north-south runs and east-west runs, you know Texas, Ohio, Michigan, PA, New York, uh, we can generally have a, a truck here pretty quickly. Once the vehicle has been picked up, uh, shipment time obviously uh, to you is depending on how many vehicles are on board, um, where you're located at in the country, traffic, weather, uh, driver's sleep patterns, stuff like that. So. But the whole process is, is a lot quicker than you might think. By the way, with the collector car lenders, there is no prepayment penalty. So let's say you take this Mustang out for seven years and you decide you want to sell it in two or pay it off in two. They aren't going to penalize you for doing that, so that makes it cool too. Like I stated, let's set this 65 Ford Mustang on the ground. We'll take it out on a test drive and we'll show you guys how the car runs. Inside of our 1965 Ford Mustang, uh, we do not have a horn. We're going to fix that. We're already aware of it. Wipers. They're slow across the dry windshield, but they're working. Turn signals, same indicator for driver and passenger. Driver. Passenger. Fuel gauge does work. Goes to empty when it's off. Goes to half when it's uh, on. And uh, we put 25 bucks in it, and it went from like eighth to like half. So... Temp gauge is aftermarket uh, below the dash. We'll keep an eye on that throughout the test drive. The radio does function. Well, there we go. Okay, so that is working. Uh, this Even this remote mirror works here. That's pretty cool. Uh, like I said in the showroom, headliner's in good condition. Uh, the uh, sun visors are in good shape. The uh, dash pad's in great condition. Cool. Let's take it on drive, see how it runs. Tell you what, this car runs. Runs good. Uh, so the speedometer is accurate. It's on the money, it's not bouncing all around. The car tracks nice and straight when you let go of the steering wheel. No hands on the wheel. It's tracking perfectly straight down the road. The response in the wheel is nice, nice and tight. The uh, acceleration, look at that, nice. There's 60. No problem at all. We'll come up here to the traffic light. We'll see how the brakes perform. Car uh, idles nicely. There's no vibrations or shaking or shimmying or anything like that in the front end and the tires. Car runs just as good as it looks. Now it does without the power brakes, it does take a little more effort to stop the car. I'm used to it, but if you're a small woman or a man that maybe hasn't driven a uh, non-power brake car in a while, it may feel abnormal to you. The car does stop, it stops straight, it doesn't jerk the wheel out of your hands or jerk the front end to one side or the other, so um, you know that's, that's a, a positive as well. You see we're sitting here at idle, the car's not stalling out, I don't have to restart it, I don't have to keep my foot on the gas. Just running through a couple gears here. It's about 65 miles per hour. Coming down a little bit. Obviously, you can see I'm coming up on traffic. The car has a real strong motor. You can see it's tracking great. Uh, nice shift in the transmission. Uh, has good pull for a 289. Nice little driver quality Mustang. This, these uh, 289s and 302s, they are good motors. Uh, it's pretty much a bulletproof turnkey, just nice little cruiser car. Uh, we sell a lot of them. Uh, uh, 65, 66, you know, Mustang, it, it's a good uh, first classic car for somebody. They're good, reliable cars. Um, they're not expensive if they do break. Uh, you know, it's not like a big block or high po motor or anything like that. Um, just simple little fun classic cars to enjoy on the weekends or 
as your second or third car. 386-944-9219 is our contact phone here in Daytona Beach. Hangsters.com is our website. We're going to have probably at least 80 to 90 photos of this car up on our website today along with this video presentation you're watching right now. At full retail price, this car includes shipping in the lower 48 United States, and it includes a powertrain warranty. That warranty is good on engine, transmission, and rear end, internal components, so it's not going to cover gaskets or, or brakes or tires or batteries. You know, it's not like a bumper-to-bumper -bumper deal. Uh, it's good at any ASC certified facility in the United States, uh, and it, uh, you know, you probably take it to the same person that's working on your daily driver. You don't have to take it to a Ford dealership or a special restoration center or anything like that. You don't have to bring it back to Florida. Also, the car is uh, negotiable within reason, of course. At a negotiated price, the warranty I just spoke of comes off. Also, the shipping comes off. We ship everything on enclosed carriers. And uh, at full retail price, we handle all the logistics. Setting up the shipping, arranging the transport, paying the driver. Um, at a negotiated price, you just kind of lose that luxury. We can certainly put you in touch with somebody that can ship the car for you on an open carrier or an enclosed carrier. But uh, you'll just pay the driver on delivery with cash or with a check. Uh, they do not accept credit cards. Maybe you're a Ford guy or gal and you're a Mustang collector and you have your own open or enclosed carrier. You're more than welcome to come get the car in Daytona Beach yourself. Maybe make it a little uh, weekend trip or two day trip. You know, enjoy some of the sights and things to do here in Daytona. That's cool. Or maybe you're local to us here in Central Florida, Orlando, St. Augustine, Jacksonville, Melbourne. You're more than welcome to come pick up the car and drive it home as well. We'd love to earn your business, add you to our growing customer base, not only throughout the United States, but throughout the entire world. Hangsters Hot Rods is located in Daytona Beach, Florida. And once again, our website is hangsters.com. Please check us out.